My name is Ellie Wen. I'm 18 years old. I live in Beverly Hills, California, and I go to Harvard Westlake School. For the last three years, I've been volunteering at Las Familias del Pueblo, and it's a community center in downtown Los Angeles that caters to Hispanic immigrant families. One night, while I was tutoring the kids in one part of the room, on the other side of the room, there was an adult ESL class, and I heard how hard the parents were struggling with some of the most basic words. And I just thought that if they have one-on-one -on -one instruction and they live in the United States and they're still having so much trouble, how would people across the world learn how to speak English? Her main concern was that these students often heard the English language spoken, but only when there were native English speakers interacting with them. She wanted to create a vehicle by which they could press rewind and replay and hear English over and over and over and over again. Ellie started Repeat After Us. Uh, I think it was her desire to marry her love of language with her, her need to reach out and to help people learn English. RepeatAfterUs.com is an online library and language lab that helps people from all over the world practice speaking English. Knowing that for me to learn French or any other language, I needed to be able to hear it and read it at the same time. I figured that for my website, Repeat After Us, it would be best to provide the text and an audio clip of the text. So yesterday, we recorded part of Peter Pan Chapter 6. J.M. Barry, Peter Pan, Chapter 6, The Little House. Foolish Toodles was standing like a conqueror over Wendy's body when the other boys sprang. Repeat After Us has provided a resource for anybody from ESL students to scientists learn how to practice speaking English. So if you have something in mind that you'd like to listen to, you can go to the search bar and type in, say, The Raven. Click on that, and then you see the text. You can click on the icon. Edgar Allan Poe, The Raven. Among everything else, the Baron Prize really tries to um, match the winners up with a mentor. And I was very lucky. I was linked with Eva Lerner Lamb. She's affiliated with Princeton University, and she's the president of the Alumni Association in Beijing. This is a truly revolutionary thing that Ellie has done. Um, and I, I am using it uh, aggressively in my recruiting of um, students to Princeton. I feel as though I've already learned so much from Ellie. She's already given me so much. She's given me an enabling tool to help me in what I do in China and for the university. I just think that hopefully it'll inspire other teens to start projects or reach more and more visitors and hopefully benefit the world. <laughs>